then I'm ready. I'm sparkly and latex and sweaty. Okay, come on. Today is come a concentration. A real application. They will ask just who, who are you I'm supposed to be. To be. Galadriel wears white and Zelda's in blue. And you just tell me it's taboo for Rona B show too. I roll my eyes and just repeat this. Just trying to find a piece of my bliss. They'll tell me that I'm living in a dream. I must be crazy for being too extreme. Ignoring their looks and throwing shade. But I will Wait, I say, I wanna be an elf with pointy ears and magical kind of life, baby, baby. I don't want to rebel, just wanna be beautiful. So fly. Imagine being slim. It means live forever one soul, never age a day, that would be the goal and then the magic. I can almost taste it now, hey that hurt my head, I think you're misled. How do I get back there to the magical forest with Testing friends old TV. and new? You need to come back to reality, interrupting, I said. I want to be an elf with pointy ears and a magical kind of life, baby, baby, not that kind of elf, Latex. just want to be elegant, Microwave peeps, really? not die. Latex. I decided to wear my ears for days, it was a silly elf experiment, you might think it's just a face, but for the most part they sometimes stared. To ask about them What's only a the few ears? days But mostly no one cared No one cared I want to be an elf With pointy ears and magical life Baby, I don't want to be stealth Want to stand That's out me. in the <laughs> crowd Look to the sky Head held high, personified, not shy. Good jam. We got a new song on this uh, startup playlist. Yeah, welcome in, AJ. Imagine being slim and so tall, purple hair down my back, it would fall. With them pointy ears back there, catching sounds from air, and I never would grow old. I wanna be an elf. The other day, I would work and get paid. I always pay the bills and put on masquerade. Every single hour of the day's completely packed I'm coding or I'm stuck in meetings or on Slack You say that I don't work cause I sit on my butt Let me tell you now that your mouth you need to shut And when the workday's done there's more work to do Because I volunteer in nonprofit committees too. Okay, so I have to adjust this volume on this song okay. Okay. You've already done yours. This just need to get put away yeah, Beyonce. Uh, really needs to get done. Didn't put it up because it's no fun. Probably go say my name. That's the original I'm song. <laughs> play my game, play, play my, my game. game. Yeah, this yeah. is my personal time. It cannot be a crime. Don't throw me all that shame. Play my game, play my game. I've been working quite enough. This day's been pretty tough. I just need you know, a refrain. refrain. Play my yeah, game, there you play go. My game. Laundry can't sit there, I've still got plenty to wear, so for now I will abstain. Play my game, play my game. I'm feeling kinda lazy, I swear not being played. Just don't wanna use my brain. It's calling me, got no time, I'm not free. You want me to come out on a big shopping spree? This lockdown has been hard, I admit. I'm scarred, 
He's stuck in here confined to my place and to my yard. So now after a year of always staying here, I stream three yeah, times a good. week, playing <laughs> games with all my peers. So things are not the same. For here is to blame. I'm introverted now, and I just want to play my game. Probably should do something practical. After all, my time is valuable. Write another book or parody song. Worked on a costume all night long. The wind and the tide's got me feeling down. Banco traipsing around downtown. How many times okay, well that's explain? that's real just right let there. Let me sit here and play my game. Play my game. Play my game. My parents wouldn't let me watch MTV. It's what? kind of funny. My door is still closed shut. I'll stay here just the same. Play my game. Play my game. No costumes being made here. A no comment on lame here. Not worth all the strain. Play my game. Play my game. This RPG is endless. The combat is relentless. So much skills to obtain. Play my game. Play my game. Going to oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we weren't allowed the TV, but I eventually got to have my own computer in my room. You say that, come on. And I paid for my own internet. All the girls say, I can hear you. All these say, break it down. Oh, grab some coffee, AJ. Jerry Kendra, take it to the bridge, come on. Probably should do something practical. After all, my time is valuable. Writing another book for a parody song. Worked on a costume all night long. The wind in the got me feeling down. Banco traipsing around downtown. Oh, oh nice. Do I gotta explain? Just let me sit here and play my game. Play my game, play my game. But that would have been sus. My door's <laughs> still closed shut. I'll stay here just the same. Play my game, play my game. Play my costumes game. costumes being made here. A no comma con lady here. Not worth all the strain. Play my game, play my game. This RPG is endless. The combat is relentless. So much skills to obtain. Play my game, play my game. I'm just going to remain here. Continue to complain here. Ignore emotional pain. Play my game, play my game. Oh yeah, and no knocking. Hero. That's what they call me cause the symbol Proves I'm the luminary reborn But I'm still learning how to wield my powers right <laughs> Yeah, that's good We met Inside the dungeon twas foretold See, I had my computer facing I helped you escape the window an So if you came in the door, and you, you wouldn't see the see screen And you can see I keep my cards close to my chest but I think we should really team up And if so, I need to get this red or back Use this new flame slash attack Meet up with Veronica What kind of name is Cryptic Crypt? Meet up on Jarvis and friends <laughs> Slayer of well, the, the second ruins story, and so thankfully Cora Losses nothing. crumbles down Nobody Jasper in the caught us in this town Are you in need of new obsession? And enjoy games with good progression And a story with grand expression Here's Dragon Quest XI I try to be example of a good night And my backstory holds a surprise Amongst the darkness, I found it. Soldiers of smile. Latex. Princess. Movie trap, welcome in. Been told I'm a badass. My skills are all based. Insects. Became damsel in distress. What a cliche. I need my friends to break the spell. Break up this monster cartel. Then we're off to Gildenhall. Oh, yeah, I bet. Memories he'll recall. But this big gold cover dog. I mean, Back circumstances are circumstances, epilogue. you know? Ancient evil broke through ice. Eric's ownage is so nice. This game has both glee and deception. And the story can leave you guessing. Want to know what happens next? Listen. Play Dragon Quest XI. Nice Up on the way. Take to the air, see what the seedlings can provide. Get the special ore and the forging hammer. Now it is time to forge the sword of light. 
It's time to forge the sword of light. Let's finish this and head to the fortress of fear. Indignious will domineer. Tap the switches, play the part. Confront Jasper hard to hard. Finally, it's Mortigan. Fight both fights and you have won. Corruption will be undone. That's Dragon Quest 11. Dragon Quest 11. All right, that's my new song, y'all. Uh, we'll have a video out for that soon. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, that's my newest one. I have 30 plus parody songs, if you didn't know that, AJ. So we're going to show a random one here to start the stream off. Oh, it's a classic. Gotta have some Britney in there, you know? Yep, it's Lamsey. <laughs> yep, that's Lamsey. <laughs> yep. That's our Lamsey. All right. Well, welcome in, y'all. Uh, good morning. Movie Trav, do you want some coffee? Or we got tea. We have mimosas, too. Later. <laughs> Wait, well, Nicole, we just did the spinner, so thanks for the first in. Happy Easter. Uh, question of the day is about peeps. Do you like peeps or not and why? <laughs> 
So AJ said something about microwaving pizza? Where to find a little Eevee costume? So we found that, I, I found that at, at a Comic-Con. Uh, it was on a Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't even know where the Pikachu went, but we, we immediately put it on Lamsley instead. <laughs> they have gelatin, so now I can see, I, can, I see how they're made. Yeah, oh, are you, are you like, uh, because I know vegans can't have gelatin because it's made from animal bones. Are you vegan, Nicole? Happy Easter. How's it going, Movie Trav? How's, how's your Easter morning going, y'all? Uh, this is our monthly Jera Cafe, just hang out, uh, stream. Grab some coffee, some tea, some mimosa. We have hot chocolate as well now. Um, yeah, I'm having coffee right now and we're gonna have mimosas in a little bit here, so. It's going good. So Nicole's a no on, on peeps. Oh yeah, latte too, that's right. Should have like a menu that comes up. There it is for you, Movie Trav. It's got a heart on it for you. Um, what about you, Movie Trav? What's your take on peeps? I'm kind of in a weird spot right now because I wiped my old work computer yesterday so I could mail it to Saturn. And then I have my new work computer, but I can't get into it yet. They haven't given me the password. And so I, I don't have like a secondary computer to be monitoring the stream with. <laughs> so I'm feeling a little discombobulated. But yeah, last year at uh, Fred Meyer, I found uh, peeps that were hot tamale peeps. <laughs> Like the candy hot tamales. And those are pretty good. I liked, I liked those. But in general, I don't usually buy peeps. Easter is, for me, Easter is about um, eating a chocolate bunny. <laughs> the true meaning of Easter. But, uh, yeah, yes, yesterday we, I did the big uh, in-person speed run with Chrono Trigger, and that went pretty well. Uh, it was pretty fun, kind of a new experience in more than one way. Um, the, the setup took a lot longer, and like I still got to figure out like if I did that kind of situation again, how I would change it, and I think, I think... I think I wouldn't have the splits on the main screen where the, where people could see. Um, and then I'd have a separate timer in the stream. I think that's what I'm used to other marathons and stuff having. Um, yeah. So that's one change I would make. And then the audio was just not great. Like, I watched the VOD. I have the VOD on YouTube now. Um, and the audio was not... Uh, I don't even know, like, if I'm hearing the game in the stream. I don't think I am. I think you're hearing the game blasted into the speakers outside into the con, and that's coming into the stream through the microphone. <laughs> so that was kind of weird. I must not have had, like, monitor and output set through the H.260S capture card. Movie Trab likes peeps. Favorite are the Easter Reese shaped eggs. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the Reese's eggs and chocolate bunnies. Yeah, I, I usually try to find a dark chocolate bunny or a peanut butter bunny. And preferably not like some big thing because like obviously like I need to, need to not go crazy. <laughs> Vegetarian for Lent and straight away from gelatin. Oh, okay, gotcha. That's cool, Nicole. Um, how long does the Lent thing go for again? Is Easter the last day, or is it still um, part of Lent? Like, does it keep going? Uh, I mean, they weren't... 
I wouldn't say they were spicy movie Trev, but I don't. I kind of like spice. Um, Latex. They had good flavor. <laughs> Alola, why? I don't get. I don't get the reference for the heavy metal. I don't get it. I don't get the reference. I'm not into. I'm not really into heavy metal. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Latex. Hey, Zytoriac. We getting ready. We getting ready. Uh, grab some coffee, Alola and Z Zytoriac. We have mimosas too, if you want. No, Ryan's not in. Ryan doesn't like music in general. Um, Latex. Oh my God. Oh no! Welcome in as well. Grab some coffee. Um, or mimosa. You have coke. Yeah, we don't do we don't do that either. We do do tender though. I have tender. <laughs> um. Yeah, grab your mimosas, coffee, tea, hot chocolate. Welcome in. It's our uh, last day of the month, Jer Cafe. Um, talking about, and happy Easter too. Imagine not being in the middle. Zero sugar coke. Wow, the butt spots all over you, Alola. Zytoriac, are you ready for Dragon Quest RTA? Um, I have to get ready for a really, really long a thon Latex. first. Sasqueen! <laughs> Welcome in, Sasqueen. Latex. Oh, is that a thing too, Alola? Bowser! <laughs> Wait, is that a Marlboro? It is! It's a Marlboro? Ah! I hate those things. Imagine not being, I didn't say you're not into rock. I like certain kinds of rock, like older rock, but I don't like metal. <laughs> hey, Bowser. It's a Marlboro, that's awesome. All right, y'all, so question of the day is, do you like peeps, yay or nay? Happy Easter. Um, what's your What's your take on it? Um, I had hot tamale peeps last year and they were pretty good. Oh, it's how you feel inside, <laughs> Bowser. Why? What's going on? Or is that just a general vibe? Uh, sure not. Need to do a run at some point and then Air and Anatola and I are going to do one final prep race. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm always kind of grinding Dragon Quest 11, any percent. And uh, I, need, I do need to do that. I probably want to do the true ending one more time before uh, before a really, really long -a But thankfully, I'm only doing any percent for RTA, so I'm not too worried about it. Lent is the day when Jesus goes into the dark. Yeah, yeah. Dies on Friday, supposedly. But when does... So it does end on Easter? I forget. I've been so long out of the, the community that I don't remember that stuff, so... Happy Easter, Sass Queen. Oh, Cadbury. I've never... You know what's funny? There's a story. When I was a kid... I hate eggs. And so when I'd see pictures of Cadbury on the commercials, I thought it was like an egg inside of the chocolate. Latex. <laughs> and so I was like, gross. I don't want anything to do with that. Uh... The best way to enjoy peeps is to open them, place them directly in the trash. All right, strong opinions there. Okay, forty days. So it does. The so Lent does end on Easter. I, I don't. I didn't remember. Savage, welcome in cafe. I'll take iced mocha. Well, we have latte. <laughs> we have latte. We have mimosa. Uh, we have coffee. We have tea. We have hot chocolate. That's our menu right now. Happy Easter. Yeah, happy Easter, everyone. Marlboro, Marlboro is a pre-coffee vibe. Okay, that makes sense, Bowser. That makes sense. Great. Well, then grab some coffee. Ends on Friday since he died on that day. Okay. So how was, how was avoiding meat, Nicole? How was going vegetarian during that time for you? They're definitely not for everyone I found out. What, the the peeps? Some people are very against them. It's just a marshmallow with sugar. I, I don't know. In a shape. That's a good menu. Thanks, Savage. Uh, today, we're actually going to go to our favorite Mexican restaurant and go have mimosas. Because it's bottomless mimosas for $10. <laughs> so I think we might take a lift there. Happy Easter. <laughs> Um, Good Friday, but then some people fast over the weekend and then feast on Easter. Oh, okay, gotcha. 
Yeah, y'all, I grew up in that stuff, but but I don't remember. It's been 15 years since I've since I've celebrated or, or any of that stuff. Longathon uploaded your run to your channel. Nice, Alola. How, you said you PB'd on your run. That's awesome. Yeah, so I have my Chrono Trigger really, really longathon run this Saturday. The following Wednesday is the true ending Dragon Quest run for, for that. And then I think coming up in a week or two after that on a Sunday is my Dragon Quest RTA run. Oh, you, oh, you ate fish. Okay, that counts. So it was really like pescatarian. Oh, are you saying being vegetarian was easy because it just meant not eating fish? I do vegan food sometimes. I love a double vegan burger. Nice, Smoothie Trav. Nice. Happy Easter time to get lit. <laughs> yes, Savage. Exactly. Uh, we saw that we were at our Mexican place last week and we saw their thing Latex. like Easter brunch, unlimited mimosas. And we're, for $10, we're like, uh, maybe we should come back here next weekend. I don't know, maybe Trav. I guess we're gonna find out today. Original channel, welcome in. Wouldn't go for peeps because I'm not much for candy. Oh, okay. Um, I know people like that. Ryan doesn't really like a lot of sweet stuff usually, but I I like it. What's weird is like when I have like a meal, I want to have something sweet after, and so I've I've really worked to like when I do diets or when I like I'm trying to lose weight or something. I really worked in worked that into things like I'll have a Coke Zero as a part of my lunch and then that becomes the sweet thing and it kind of curbs the craving um, or I'll have the little tiny Reese's things which if you have three of them it's about 120 calories um, and that'll be like a little mini dessert and so so yeah I definitely like use that because I know that about myself that I want something sweet after a meal um, try to work that in but yeah I don't find I'm like always craving sweets necessarily so but I do like them fish is not considered to be meat in the bible oh so you were actually pescatarian okay gotcha I remember a bar had mega margaritas after three I was drunk I bet I so last week when we were there I had a mega margarita but that wasn't too bad. I think Ryan drove home though. You lost five pounds. Congrats, Nicole. Congrats. Anybody else give something up for Lent? Um, I did not. I don't celebrate. The irony is that at times I do incorporate sweet flavors into dishes that I cook. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, what's an example of that original channel? Like what dishes would have that set up? My neck is still out of whack from yesterday's uh, run. Like the chair that they had there and then the way the microphone was placed, I feel like I was, and then I was looking down at the laptop screen cause the monitor was like, had a weird delay. And so I'm kind of, I was kind of like doing this weird thing like the whole time. But it was a good experience in general. Um, I'm trying to, th I, I got to figure out if I would do it again, what I would do different. And I think one of the things is the splits and then two is figuring out the sound because sound on the stream was pretty crap. You gave up boba. Wow. That's a big one. I only have boba every now and then, but it's good. Although when I say boba, I mean the the jellies. I don't actually do the I don't actually do the boba themselves usually. Oh, glazing salmon, two different glazes, honey with dill and maple chili. Oh, okay, cool. That sounds good. I do I do boring salmon. Maybe I should figure out how to do a glaze. <laughs> I usually just throw salmon in the like put some seasoning and lemon and then put it in the oven and that's it. But yeah, the setup wasn't so comfortable, Movie Trav. 
Um, and I let them like do their streaming computer, which was nice because then I didn't have to move my whole setup. I just had to bring my gaming stuff. Um, but yeah, I think I would have maybe had an overlay exported or something if I'd known that they like, I thought they had an overlay they were going to want to use. And they, they basically just like said, here's the computer. And they set up the hardware for me and then they're like, go for it. And I'm like, okay. And like we were an hour late starting and we're, just, we're realizing the audio wasn't great. And I'm just like, well, I guess we're going for it. You like all types of boba? I usually don't do the milk tea. I usually do the, the other kind. It's usually like a fruit tea with, uh, with like jellies, rainbow jellies or something. Not all the boba places have it. But yeah, it's kind of weird, the sound. I don't know how to... You really just need a good microphone that isn't capturing the, as much as that one was. It was a it was a Yeti Mini, and I'm not. Sh I think it didn't have all the features that I'm used to. In fact, I don't even know. Like if it had, a, I don't know how to. I maybe could have messed with the gain on it if it had a switch for that, such that it wasn't picking up like the whole room as much. But yeah, that's the that's the kind of setup with a with a small con situation, and um, I I assume that the the actual speedrunning cons like actually know what they're doing with all that stuff, and they they have that stuff ready to go. Uh, but I'm super excited that I got to do it. Super uh, thankful uh, to my friend Emilio for setting it up. He's he was a organizer at the con. And uh, I was, I've was i been bugging him for almost a year now to be like, hey, because I know he, he runs a couple retro cons. And like, hey, get me up there speedrunning for some, you know, for one of these cons. <laughs> and so he did it. He, he set me up and, and it went well. So, so yeah, super appreciative that he was, that he gave, gave me the opportunity to try that. So. We came home yesterday and we... And I, like, we crashed, really. Like, I took, like, a 30-minute nap. And then I, I forced myself to get up because I didn't want to wake up really early. Um, and then we finally went to bed at, like, 10. Uh, but I did work on, and I, I've pretty much finished my new Dragon Quest XI um, music video. So I just gotta add the the lyrics into the the mix, and then uh, and then that'll probably go out this week. So y'all get y'all will get to see it. But yeah, as you can, if you were here at the beginning of the stream, it's worked into my new startup song for um, Dragon Quest. So yeah, speaking of this week, this week's schedule, uh, we're going to do Final Fantasy V tomorrow morning, like usual, and then we're going to do Dragon Quest XI any percent, hopefully try to get a PV, and then I have to, I think I don't want to do a marathon run, so we'll we'll try to get a PV, and if we get, if the run dies, we might jump into some 10-2. In fact, I need to make some splits for 10-2 before that. Something to do today. Um, need some good old British milk tea. Oh yeah, tea with milk. That's right, the British like their tea with milk. Um, and then Wednesday night, we're going back to latex. We are gonna, we are gonna latex. We're gonna work on Blue Bunny Jade from Dragon Quest XI. So that'll be good. It's, I've taken a couple weeks off of latex. 
PB at a marathon? Yeah, I haven't PB'd at a marathon in a long time. Um, especially Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is like, it's pretty, pretty optimized for my skill. So like trying to get a PB is like, it's, it's hard enough to try to get a PB like when it's just on my channel hanging out. But when you're actually trying to narrate and talk and do the game um, for a marathon, it's just a lot more stress and a lot more, it's a lot tougher. Dragon Quest XI, there's probably enough time saved that there's a possibility of getting a PB. Um, but the RNG is so heavy um, in that game that it's more likely it's not going to be a PB. Unlike the Americans, I see that microwave water and put milk in it after a tea bag. <laughs> yeah, movie trap. So we're, I, I said earlier, we're making a blue bunny jade. Jade, jade the blue bunny. Um, and I think I'm going to, for the first time, make uh, latex ears to it. So the latex, the bunny ears are going to be latex. Um, so that'll involve some wire and covering the wire and... The pattern for that's gonna be weird to figure out, but. Probably get better time if I banter more than concentrating. Really, you do? I'm, I'm definitely the opposite. It's, it's kind of a funny thing because uh, Because I, the reason I stream is to like hang out with people, and so it's like I want to be doing that, but I also like get distracted easily. <laughs> but I, I, I would, it just does not sound fun to do an offline run for four hours by yourself, you know? Four hours plus, because it's like five hours for Dragon Quest. But yeah, Blue Bunny Jade. Um, Excited to start that. Hoping to get that done before PAX West so I could wear that over to PAX in September. That's Labor Day weekend usually. Uh, some other possibilities on the docket for that are maybe a Starfire, Daphne, Mrs. Incredible. But mainly I think giving myself a timeline of PAX from now till PAX to get Jade done is like enough. <laughs> so, but we'll see, see how I feel. And then with Cheer, Cheer, we're coming into, uh, so it's April, so we have one more month. Um, and then the next two months, May and June, are like mandatory practices and like really heavy on the choreo. And so we're getting real close to Pride. I gotta get my, my flying down. We're gonna learn the dance part of the choreo. So super excited. I got to fly in the St. Patty's Day Parade this month. That was really awesome. Uh, second or third, second parade, I think, that I've flown in now. Um, just some preps, but this one was a prep rotate, so that was cool. Um, just went up and did it, and it wasn't any, any big deal. Mind you, the, the pod that I was in like knew what they were doing. That's, that's helpful. Like se seasoned veterans lifting me in the air. And as far as trips coming up, uh, I, I have to decide if I'm going to Long Beach in May or not. So that's another cheer trip. Uh, and that would be for a weekend. I think I've kind of been waiting to see how the how I feel about the new job and if I can easily uh, either take a day off or, or be able to work on the plane for one of those days and that kind of thing. So yeah, this is my first week of work, y'all. Uh, new job. So Friday was my last day at my old job, and so tomorrow I start my new job. So that'll be interesting. Gotta get a feel for the people and the work and make sure I kind of understand my role and what needs to be done. You get, 
Oh, do I get scared sometimes being at the top of the pyramid? So I haven't been at the top of the pyramid. Um, I've just been, you know, a, a flyer. So uh, we do do a lot of pyramids, and I could I could see being part of the mid layer they call it. Um, and Latex. so, but not be at the at the top. Hey, Jen, welcome in. Jericho Bunny, yes. Yeah, happy Easter. I'm going to be eating a chocolate bunny later today, and, and we're going to have unlimited mimosas today, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there's Jen's opinion on peeps. Um, speaking of mimosas, grab a mimosa, Jen. Hope you're having a good weekend. Hope you're having a good Easter morning. Unlimited, I like it. I know. So Ryan and I were at our Mexican restaurant last week, and there was a sign that said Easter brunch, unlimited mimosas for $10. <laughs> and so we're like, hmm. So that's what we're hoping to do, I think. Maybe we'll take a lift. Been good, girls got their baskets. Oh yeah, you do the Easter bunny basket stuff. Uh, my parents still did that for us when we were grown-ups too. It's kind of Latex. Hey, Tomo! Thanks so much for the raid! Latex. How did Chrono Trigger go? Y'all, if you don't know Tomo, um, this is a Japanese runner from uh, doing Chrono Cross and Chrono Trigger. Uh, lately been learning the Chrono Trigger PC runs, uh, including all endings, so definitely give Tomo a follow. Um, hopefully the, the Chrono Trigger 100% run went well today. It looked like you were on a good, uh, you were on track for a PB. So how did, how did it end out? Let me know. But yeah, if you got a raid and run, no problem. Do your personal care stuff as well. Welcome in raiders. I'm a Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, Dragon Quest XI speedrunner. And just now learning uh, Final Fantasy X too as well. Um, but today we're just kind of chatting about my uh, experience from yesterday and Easter, kind of Easter morning coffee chat. And then the question of the day is, do you like peeps or not? That's the, that's the, everybody has pretty, usually pretty negative uh, heavy opinions on. Yeah, as for me with the peeps thing, I, I had the hot tamale peeps last year and I liked those, so I was gonna get them again this year, but I couldn't find them. So they must not have been popular enough. <laughs> but yeah, so trips, we'll see. Uh, May is potentially a cheerleading Long Beach Pride uh, trip. So I'm hoping to do that. Uh, and then otherwise I'm going to a wedding in Pennsylvania in June. And then I'm going to Europe in July for my ear situation. And we're gonna hit up uh, Poland, Prague, Frankfurt, go see my friend in Wales, and then uh, come home. So it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be quite the trip. And then what else do I got? So then uh, September, I know I'm coming out for someone else's wedding. Uh, and then I have to decide if we're going anywhere in October or not. November would probably be Palm Springs Pride. Pretty common. Um, yeah, I didn't I didn't want to say uh, it was your... I didn't know like if you'd announced it or anything yet, Jen. Or... Um, uh, or if you sent invitations out or anything like that. <laughs> so. But yes, it'll be Jen and Ono's wedding in September. So yeah, I, did I get... I don't think I've gotten tickets for that. <laughs> tickets or a hotel for that yet. But Not yet. I'm not professional. Hey, you know what? You got a lot going on. Planning a wedding is... Let's just say I don't want to ever want to do it again. I had a planner. I paid a planner to help me. And I still didn't like all the work I had to do for it. My last wedding. It was kind of funny, you know, you pay a planner and you're like, 
thinking like you don't have to do a whole lot. It's like, no, they advise on a lot of things. And during the the day of the wedding, it's very helpful to have a planner. Like they help just make sure the place, it runs like you wanted it to. Latex. But, um, but yeah, it feels, it felt like I was still doing a lot of the work. It was just like, she was telling me what my options were and all that kind of stuff. Allie, welcome in. Allie Cat. Latex. And Felicity, hey. Ellie's a bunny today. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a bunny costume on later for Ryan. Shh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, happy Easter, you two. Hope you're having a good good one. We're getting photos in May, so I'll send them after that. Oh, cool. Okay, Jen, nice. I still have to get my dress for the wedding. I need to need to remember to do that. I don't have my phone nearby. I need to need to put that on my calendar as a to do to make sure I do that. Yay, bunnies! Exactly. <laughs> no rush. I think only my sister has it. Okay, yeah. Well, I just want to make sure I get one that I that has has my personality. You know, <laughs> you know the it just has has my personality, <laughs> um, and then still matches the color and stuff. The one I ordered was good. It was what I wanted, but then they they didn't. Uh, and they never sent it or it never got delivered. And so I, I got my money back. But so I could, I'll try to find a different one. I don't think I want to try that again. It came from China. Latex. Pizza cat. Welcome in. Happy Easter. Do y'all like peeps or not? That's the, that's the question of the day. Um, yeah. Like I said, people have strong opinions about this. And uh, are you doing anything fun for Easter? Let us know in the chat. Did you have to work today, Jen? Doing good playing Disney Speedstorm on this fine Easter day. Nice, nice. Doing tender. Playing Disney Speedstorm on this tender Easter day. You're closed on Easter. Oh, good, Jen. Good. Chocolate's not a good thing at Easter. Trying to lose weight. Yeah, I feel that, Allie. I'm allowing myself, though. It comes once a year, and I, I allow myself to eat a chocolate bunny on Easter. In fact, I'll probably make it last, like, into the week. I'll have some of it today, and then I'll, I'll have some of it for dessert after meals, like, in the next couple days. You're just playing games? Nice. Yeah, uh, our cheer practices changed from Tuesday to Sunday this year. And so there's been a lot of like, oh, what about holidays like Easter? And so I think a lot of people are taking cheer practice off today for Easter. And so I uh, I decided to as well. <laughs> Mostly because they, they said the practice was going to be kind of more of a fun practice. And we weren't going to work on any heavy choreo stuff. And so I was like, if, I, if there was ever a practice to miss, this would be the one. Um, and so I'm going to take it off and that, that allows us to go do unlimited mimosas today. <laughs> Cause if I wasn't going to do that, I really shouldn't be drinking, you know, hours before cheer practice. So that's, that's really the concern there. You love racing games, pizza cat. Nice. I went to a gaming expo yesterday and uh, there was, there was a bunch of different games going on there. Somebody send Jerry Kendra a giant chocolate Easter bunny. <laughs> no, please don't. <laughs> Because <laughs> I will eat it. Super sleepy. Might play something chill like Spyro or Nap. Nice. That's It's a good napping kind of day, you know? We woke up and immediately went into the hot tub. And it was kind of still dark out. And we got to, like, hang out in the hot tub while it was starting to lighten up. And the birds were chirping. It was, it was a really nice, like, experience. And I, I took a nap yesterday. Should probably get in. I'll probably, honestly, we're gonna go have mimosas and then I'm gonna come home and nap because that's that's the thing. <laughs> Alcohol induced nap. We need a hot tub, they're like super rare. Oh, are they rare in the UK, really? Which seems odd to me because doesn't it rain a lot in the UK? Yeah, I did have fun, Moo Trav. Um, we, we walked around 
looked at some of the booths. I was tempted to just like ask a bunch of people about if they had Chrono Trigger cartridges or not, but we didn't. Um, and then uh, we watched uh, one of the other speedrunners do some runs as well, which was kind of cool, seeing some of the more platformy kind of games run. Um, and then, then it was like set up, which took like an hour, uh, hour and a half. And then it was like into my run. And by the end of the run, it was like the con was closing down. The main part of the con was closing down. I think they had gaming like all night. So you could stay there and game if you wanted all night. Um, and I was just exhausted after the run. I was just sitting in that chair um, and then putting all that energy into it. Um, I, we went we went back to we went back home and it, like I crashed for I took like a 30 minute nap, but all the rain might be why there's no outdoor water spots. Okay, I could see that. So yeah, we get a lot of rain in Seattle and so we have a nice like awning roof that we had built over our hot tub. So it's actually kind of nice to be out there when it's raining, too, because you're not getting rained on. But yeah, Felicity and Allie, I'm going to be doing some latex on Wednesday night, finally. Um, so. Hopefully you can come by and see what that's like. Uh, working on Blue Bunny Jade from Dragon Quest, finally. So I'm kind of getting excited about that. Um, pattern wise, I think I'm okay with the to start with what I have for patterning. We'll see. They would just all overflow and then the whole garden in like a pool. <laughs> Yeah, shiny crafting, so that'll be Wednesday. And then I have to decide if Thursday I'm gonna do Chrono Cross or Chrono Trigger because we're doing Chrono Trigger Marathon Run again on Saturday. Um, and I don't wanna get, I kinda don't wanna get too burned out, but it also just depends on how super hyped I am to try to get a PB um, on it. But I have a feeling I'm gonna wanna do Chrono Cross for some variety on Thursday, so. Hate it when it rains because our kit. Oh, your kitchen floods? What? Wait, is there a. Do you have a, a leak or something? Do you have. A, is it a roof leak? That sucks. Do you rent or own? Is that like a maintenance thing that they haven't done? Yeah, thankfully we haven't had any leaks in the new house. Been in this house almost two years now. Um, we do need to do some landscaping this, this spring and summer. Trim some trees, take some bushes out, stuff like that. Um, I told Ryan I want, I want a bed of rainbow tulips in the front yard. I think that would be really cool. The kitchen roof leaks, oh my god. That sucks. Oh, parents' house. Let's try to complicate to get fixed. Oh, you're just trying to move? Okay, gotcha. That's right. You you were talking about packing and stuff, right? You two? So do you have a place that you're moving to? Or are you just kind of still looking? Move to another twin where we have some friends. Latex. Hey, happy Easter, Maddie. Welcome in. How's it going, Maddie? Is it uh, is it a ten two Sunday? Ten two Easter. 
it turns out we own too many things, so packing hard. Oh, packing sucks. Yeah, packing sucks, honestly. The worst part is not moving, especially if you pay movers. Like, it's not too bad. But packing and unpacking is the worst, in my opinion. Especially the kitchen. I hate packing the kitchen. It's a work Sunday. No. On Easter? Maddie. I don't celebrate and I'm still like, on Easter? <laughs> oh, three days off. Okay, that's nice. Oh, town to twin. Okay, I got you to another town. I was like, another twin? Packaging weeks in advance, yeah. Well, grats on the three days off, Maddie. Uh, we're probably, I'm trying to figure out where I can fit 10-2 into my schedule now. I need to make some splits today too. But um, I think I'm gonna, I think it's gonna be Monday night Dragon Quest and if the run dies, we'll try 10 too. I think that's what we're going to go for this week. Since it's... Actually, I, I don't even know how long it'll take. I need to, like... That's why I need to get splits going, because I need to see how long a 10 run run's going to take me um, to be able to properly say, hey, do I have enough time to do this before bedtime? 10-2 <laughs> or not 10-2... <laughs> ten two or not ten two? That is the quote. <laughs> that is the question. Ten two. Maddie's been running ten one lately, but we always know he'll he'll come back to ten two. Like to PB ten CSR and try a ten two run this week. Yeah. Would you do ten two on ten Tuesday? <laughs> God, Becky, look at her butt. <laughs> uh, helped your sister move, Movie Trav? Nothing packed, no furniture. Oh, come on. Yeah, like, I... I've, I've been the kind of friend who will come, like... Who will come, like, help you move, but I will not sit there and, and help you pack. Like, that is the worst. Like... <laughs> and unpacking is worse, because it's like, I don't know where you want to put all this stuff. <laughs> You just don't quit, 10-2. Ten 10-2. Two. Ten two. <laughs> I know, I was really bummed about the run the other night. I just had a bad week for, for runs. Thankfully, we had a decent run yesterday for Chrono Trigger. AJ, organize your basement. I feel that, though. I could still do some, like, organization. I have a lot of, like, stuff I need to hang up on the walls that I still haven't done. And I've been, lived in this house for almost two years. Need to play 10 and 10-2 again, but I always get distracted and start other games. Hey, I feel that, Felicity. I feel that. I want to play the end game of 10 a little more someday. Like, revisit it. So I recently, because I was learning the run for 10-2 eventually, I did revisit 10-2 and 200%ed it. So I feel like it's pretty well complete. Um, but now, now we get to learn the speed run. We'll eventually learn the 100% run, too, some at some point. Because I like, I guess because I like long runs. That's what it comes down to. I need to revisit the Chrono Trigger All Endings run again at some point. Is there a new record? Uh, no. I mean, not for me. Uh, I'm, uh... I'm still at 412 is the PB. In fact, there's a... man for it. Yeah, 412. Uh, that was in the last week or two, I think, two weeks ago. So we'll tr keep trying to get to 410. That's where we want to get for the year. That's our goal. Always want to get every single part of the game, but then forget where everything is. Yeah, I think I struggle partially because, uh, because I keep running these other games, and so I end up playing a casual game once a week. And I forget what the heck I did the week before. Yeah, it's a good time. Uh, yesterday, I had a 422, so 10 minutes behind um, PB. But, you know, marathon run. Mostly just trying to get to the end and end and showcase, showcase the run to peeps. So 
so I feel good about it. But yeah, I do want to finish Final Fantasy V soon, and then uh, uh, and then switch to a Tales game. I think Tales of Basuri probably. That's that's my plan anyway, for casual for casual play. And who knows? Maybe as I uh, as I figure out this polyphasic sleep thing, I'll do more FF5 uh, casual in the mornings. Maybe we'll see. And then the book book four. So I'm working on my book four. And I did a bunch on the last trip in the Philippines. Latex. Um, but I've got a, I've got a lot to I've got a lot to go. Welcome in, Argent. Argent Lupus peeps nay as I eat one. Wait, how does that work? Keep meaning to play six just to suplex a train. Oh, is that wait? Is that a thing? Yeah, I haven't played six yet either. But yeah, happy Easter. Hope you're having a good one, Argent Lupus. Um, I, I'm not eating peeps today, but I am eating a dark chocolate bunny. <laughs> For sure. Hap it's happening later today. Oh, yeah. Oh, rumors, but never tried it? Okay. Yeah, there is a train scene or something, right? I've seen people speedrun six, so I've seen parts of it, but but I don't know like the full story or anything, so. All right, y'all, and this is the, the last uh, stream for the boss damage leaderboards. Oh yeah, we can look at our top five viewers as well. Top five viewers for March. Zombie Infest, Bowser Bowser, Ryan Rainbow, Jen, and Brandy. Oh, six is your favorite? Oh, six is a lot of people's favorite. I'm often surprised at how many people like FF6. So I will have to play it at some point to see how I feel about that. Those dark chocolate bunnies have raspberry, strawberry, cherry filling? <laughs> no, I don't. At least the ones I've seen don't. They're either, you know, hollow or, or filled with chocolate. Solid chocolate. Us elder gamers are conflicted between four and six. Yeah, I like four a lot. I wanna, I wanna, eventually I wanna learn the speedrun for 3D, for 3D. Um, but I wanna learn the speedrun for too many games. Hey, Bowser's got coffee. Four and six for old schoolers. See the bennies of it. Oh, bennies of both. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll have to. I'll have to have an opinion on six at some point. Oh, Bowser has opinion. FF6 is a masterpiece. So Bowser, you probably do like six better than four, because I know you said you played four recently and you weren't. Very impressed. You want a raspberry bunny now, Felicity? Oh, I had, so at the, the con yesterday was at the fair, the fairgrounds. And so I had scones while I was there with raspberry jam. Something I haven't had in years. I was just like, I will take three scones, please. Maybe that's why I crashed when I came home. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, AJ. The gameplay and the... I like the voice acting. The fact that they had voice acting in a, in a low low number Final Fantasy was like a huge, huge uh, change improvement. Oh, yeah. The Pixel Remasters. Like, what features are you looking for in particular, AJ? I mean, some they have auto battle, right? Five, at least five PR does, because that's what I've been playing. Or do you mean like the graphics or something? 
used to live near Chocolatier that made Easter candies, and one of them was bunnies filled with various creams. Okay, I could see that, Argent. I could see that. Oh, inherits. Oh, yeah, the, the augments. Is that what you're talking about? Um, yeah, augments. Wait, so were augments not in the original FF4? Is that the... I haven't played the original FF4 in a long time. 20 years. 16. I've not played 16. Oh, okay. Augments are a 3D thing. Okay. Okay, I've not played anything above 10-2. I've not played yet. Felicity's ordering McDonald's. What are you, wait, what are you getting at McDonald's? What do you like to get at McDonald's? I don't, I don't eat a lot of McDonald's, honestly. But if I do, it's like on the way to snowboarding or something and I'll have like a sausage biscuit or something. Cause I don't like eggs. You could NG plus three times. But look, NG plus three times and get all, get more augments. Is that the, the deal that you're saying, AJ? Chicken nugs. Yeah, I, I do. I do chicken nugs. I haven't done. I used to eat a 20 piece chicken McNug, and like, I don't think I can anymore. It's a lot. Halfway through 16, but then Allie kept being sleepy, so we didn't play for a while. <clears throat> Wait, so you two would play uh, together? Like, do you like swap past the controller back and forth, or is it. Does it have multiplayer battle? Different augments based on some things like how many augments to give you your lost party. Oh, interesting. Okay. Ellie got fish fingers and I got a cheeseburger. Okay. Tender tendergers. <clears throat> so Ryan really likes skippers. And so we went to skippers yesterday because there's one near the con. Um, I wasn't that impressed with the fish actually, but he, he, he was happy, so. It's pretty neat because at some point you give Rydia and Rosa to, oh yeah, twin cast. Oh, okay. So they can twin cast a meteor. Oh, cool. Well, that's interesting. I wonder if there's a new game plus category for, probably for FF4 3D then. Because if you had everything maxed and you had some really awesome abilities, I guess you, it's not like Chrono Trigger where you can immediately go fight the final boss though, so you'd have to still go through the story, but. I end up, I end up playing most games because Ellie just wants to watch, then she gets too snuggly while watching, and then she misses the game. <laughs> well, that's really cute though. <clears throat> um, there is. The Tales games all almost I think almost all of them support multiplayer battle. So you so one person plays the main player and d controls the story, but then when you're doing a battle, uh, mul multiple people can play, which is really cool. I haven't I haven't tried that yet, but it's kind of fun. Oh really? FF6 on SNES? Two player? All right, I think I've seen some speed runs where they do that or something. Wait, but it's not on, the PR does not support it? Oh yeah, the Humble Bundles. Yeah, definitely play, uh, play some Tales games. My favorite is my first one is Vesperia. Um, I have it on the Switch. Really, really awesome game and story. It was, it was a lot of fun. And I, I did a cosplay from it. Um, Ju uh, Judith. Not sure about PR? Okay, okay. Can control a couple characters as player two, but player one was still the one doing all the main stuff. Okay, interesting. For FF6 being, you know, that old, that, that seems like a pretty new concept for back then happy meal and cream egg ice cream but I keep putting chips in my ice cream <laughs> latex 
Hey, Yeti Force, welcome in. Split. Happy Easter. Thanks. Are you uh, are you into peeps or not? That's the the big question of the day. There are a few games that did some neat multiplayer stuff. So wait, what are the some of the other ones? Tales of Asteria, because I saw it on the list. With female leads? Okay. Secret of Mana had three player? Oh, okay. Multi-tap? What's multi-tap? Yeah, Bursary is the next one I want to play after FF5, Felicity. Because I've owned it. I mean, let's face it. I have a lot of games I own that I have not played yet. But yeah, I think that's the one I want to play next. The pastel M&Ms are nice. Oh, you like those? Okay. Yeah, I usually I make it a tradition to eat a chocolate bunny. Preferably either a dark chocolate bunny or a peanut butter one. But yeah, also uh, have some coffee. Eliza's wearing a bunny suit, so she has to put something on over for food delivery. <laughs> Why? Can't you can't you greet the food delivery person and be like, Happy Easter? <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, I would do that. I'm making Pillsbury cinnamon rolls. Oh, man. I kind of want those now. <laughs> I actually made a pigs in a blanket the other day with hot dogs and cheese. And we got these, like, rolls for them that were just too big. I almost wanted just like the really cheap ones. So next time I'll have to do that. Get like the cheaper ones. Love hot chocolate with marshmallows. Yeah. It's good stuff. Um, here's, some, here's some hot chocolate for you then. Got whipped cream on it. <laughs> You're welcome over. I always be the two pack and then have to make them in back to back weekends. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, why back to back? They come in a tube, right? So you could have them for a long time, technically, right? Ellie isn't that brave yet. She needs more practice cosplaying. Oh, okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, if you don't mind sharing the bunny suit, um, in our in the discord feel free to throw it in the cosplay um, if, if you're comfortable if not no worries I'll, I'll probably if I'm wearing an appropriate one today <laughs> then I'll post it in, in the cosplay channel on my discord today <clears throat> I got a few for the holidays and now they're expiring oh so cinnamon roll any percent let's go makes sense makes sense Yeah, I've had, so that, like, I love that stuff, but it also, um, but also, uh, it has a lot of gluten in it, and eventually that, like, takes a toll on my stomach, so, and I had three scones yesterday, and some bread-battered fish, and I had three biscuits the night before, so yeah, I'm kind of in bad shape for gluten right now, I need to, like, cool it, or otherwise I'm gonna have some, some major pain coming up. Shared a pick of her ears. Okay, good. Cool. <laughs> cool. You deserve a cheat day. Yeah, I try to try to allow myself to live my life, you know? Like if I want to go out to eat, I'll go out to eat. But I just try not to go overboard if I can. I'm in this phase where I'm kind of mostly in maintenance mode, and so as long as I'm not gaining huge weight, I can I can have a little treat here and there and try to balance it out. Weirdly enough, the speed runs that I do at night after work are they like uh, they uh, make it so I can't eat eat a big dinner, and so I just end up like having like a 
some kind of healthy snackish during the weeknight speedruns. Sometimes I'll, sometimes I'll have like an actual meal before the speedrun, but might get a full suit later. All right, look forward to it. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan, y'all. That's the plan. April's going to be a big marathon month. Um, I think I have three marathon runs. Three? And I signed up for a couple more in May and June. Um, I haven't heard back if I got in yet, but we'll see what happens. But the big thing about April is the new job and, and seeing how, you know, getting my feels for that. And we'll see how that goes, especially this first week. if you gain too much weight for my latex yeah I feel that um, the last time <clears throat> was after the pandemic I started to notice my my just regular clothes weren't fitting as well <clears throat> and so that's when I, I made a change I was like all right and I lost like 20 pounds Yeah, I mean, I had help. I paid a trainer to help, and a nutritionist person. They really helped me, like, figure out, figure things out. And so but for about a year and a half, I, like, really stuck pretty hard to it. I still went on trips. I still did holidays. And then, uh, but over, over a year and a half, I lost 20 pounds. So it wasn't, like, an instant thing, that's for sure. <clears throat> and then I've been maintaining for the last year, for the most part. I think I've gained a couple pounds. And so I might try to do start being a little more strict in the next month or two as we're getting into summer um, just to kind of shave off those couple pounds there yeah it's it's a it's a tough thing to lose weight 12 buckets of chocolate chip ice cream in the first year of lockdown <laughs> yeah i mean i drink a lot of wine in lockdown um, it didn't go anywhere, really. I mean, I still traveled and stuff, but not as much. Most of my jeans don't fit. I'm size 14, but hopefully I get to 12. Okay. I'm fat, but still on the way down. Wait, still on the way down week, week to week. Well, that's good. Progress is progress, you know? It's all about feeling comfortable in your own body. That, in the end, being healthy and feeling comfortable in your own body. Um, I would like to be less weight, but I also like, I'm, I also like want to be like strong enough to like do the cheerleading stuff I need to do, have a strong core. Um, yeah. So I love your dedication to achieving goals. Thanks. Maybe Trav. I, I put a lot of effort in. I have, I have a lot of drive. I don't know if anything, if there's any talent that I have built in that's innate, it's just the drive to do things I want to do. Um, and some people just don't have the, the drive to do things like that, I guess, from what I understand. And so I've, I've been, I've been given that innate talent, I guess. It's my only innate talent. Uh, I'm not good at a lot, of, a lot of things I do. I'm not really good at. I've just spent a lot of time working on them. <laughs> so there's no talent there. It's just, I put in the work.
All right, y'all. Well, coffee's done. I think it's about time to head out. Um, what time is it anyway? It's almost nine, so probably we're gonna probably shower and then go do our Mexican unlimited mimosas thing. Putting forth effort is a talent I wish I had. It's yeah, it's it's a thing, right? It's it's. I think it just doesn't come innate in in people in in, in everybody. Let's just say. Oh yeah, you lost the drive a few years back. Well, I hope you get it back, AJ. Um, I feel like life is is there to be lived, and and we all have so much potential um, to kind of live it and the way we want to live it. And so, obviously, circumstances get in the way and stuff like that. But uh, working within those circumstances and, and trying to do what do what is needed to feel good about what you're doing. So on that note, let's uh let's raid out to Nightshade, who's doing a Final Fantasy VI speed run. Um, seems relevant since we were talking about Final Fantasy VI a bunch. Redistribute free time. Hey, I I feel that too. I think it's easy to get lost in, uh, you know, you get done with work and it's just like and it's just like oh I watch TV or something. You know, it's just like you just it's very hard to like be like all right I'm gonna do something after work. Latex. So that's our, our raid message. <clears throat> or you can just say latex raid if you want. Um, Nightshade's a big Final Fantasy VI runner. <clears throat> what am I mis motivated myself all the time? Good, Moontrav, good. Hope you all have a fantastic uh, rest of your Easter day. Last day of the month. Have a great April. Um, I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning.